March 18th, 1983, this is Joe Todd, interview with Mrs. Alice Noel, N-O-E-L-L. <laughs> Mrs. Noel, where were you born? Cookbook, close to Cookbook, in you see. And when's your birthday? 11th of November. <laughs> And what year? Born in 1888. 1888. 1888. <laughs> That's what. Who was your father? G.B. Massey, Mr. G.B. Massey. How do you spell that last name? M A S S A. M A S S A. Was he from Tennessee? Yeah. And who was your mother? Well, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. G.B. Massey put it that down there. She was a Mitchell. Was she from Tennessee also? <laughs> she passed away in 1884 or so. Do you want her maiden name? What was your mother's maiden name? Mitchell. Mitchell, okay. <clears throat> was she born in Tennessee? Yeah. yeah. How long did you live in Tennessee? I uh, come to Kansas in 1906. And and what part of Kansas? Haviland, Kansas. Haviland? Yeah. Did you come by train? Yes. How long did the trip take from Tennessee to Kansas? I couldn't tell you. <laughs> oh, I made about three days, I guess. I don't know. Do you just... remember the trip? Oh, yes, I remember it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What's your favorite memory of the trip? Well, i never been on a train before. And we stayed all night in Nashville and then come on through. Had to stop in Kansas City. Lay over there a little while. Hello. <laughs> uh, how come your family came to Kansas? Well, my dad and, and one of his son-in-laws came out and and uh, they liked it, so son-in-law stayed and my dad come back and sold out and, and moved out there and I got married the, on the Saturday and they, and they lived on Monday. <laughs> What's your husband's name? Richard Moore. You got married in 1906? Mm -hmm. no. no, 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 no. Five. 1905. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You come to Kansas in six. Did you go to school in Tennessee? Yes, <laughs> country school. <laughs> what was the name of it? Boiling Springs. What was your favorite subject? <laughs> and I, <don't> know. <laughs> I guess reading. <laughs> How big was Haven, Kansas? Huh? How big was Haviland, Kansas? Oh, it's just a small place. Not, not, not too big. Yeah. Not too big. I don't remember. <laughs> was your father a farmer? I didn't catch it. Was your father a farmer? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he farmed. Bought land in Kansas when he came up there and, and farmed. How much land did he buy? Well, he bought a half section when he came up there. As a child, what kind of chores did you do around the farm? Oh, just anything. <laughs> oh, milk, and take care of the chickens. And, and, yeah.
Did you do the laundry? <laughs> yes, son. <laughs> How'd you do it? Well, you, you just used your hand. <laughs> No, they didn't have washboards in them days. You didn't? No. Just use your hands? Yeah. Yeah. Did your father build a house on the half section? No, they had one on that. Oh, there's already a house there? Yeah, yeah, it is. Well, I improved when you come to How yes. big was the house? Oh, I, th I think it's four rooms. Mm -hmm. And you came to the panhandle in what year? You mean to have a? No, to uh, Oklahoma. Oh, we come down here in 19 and, and 14. 1914. How come you came down here? Well, I followed the rest of the family down here. <laughs> Did your father come down here also? Yeah, my father and, and had sisters living down here. Did you come to Hooker? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How big was Hooker when you first came? Oh, about like Optimore down here, I think. <laughs> did, your, did your father buy a farm down here? No, when we moved down here, we got a from Haver, we had a, a freight car and freighted everything down. We had machinery and cattle and chickens and hogs and furniture and everything. So you had a farm outside of Hooker? Yeah. How far? Uh, four, three miles east and a mile north. Had the farm been proved up on? Oh yes, yeah, had a four-room house and and folks that had lived there while they moved to town, so we bought a half section of the land. How much you pay for the half section? <laughs> oh, I'm not nothing like it is now. <laughs> oh, I don't know. This town was not more. Three thousand dollars, I don't imagine. You know, in all these years, I have too many things to remember. Mm -hmm. <laughs> On the train, of course, my husband, as we should know, he come with the car. Did you have an immigrant car? No. Mm -hmm. No. Was there much? work for the war effort in Hooker during World War One. It was 1917, 1918. Well, I was down here then. Yeah. 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 Did you do any knitting for the soldiers? Or? Well, I guess I married one later. <laughs> That's when I married her to Noel in 1920. On your birthday in 1918, that was Armistice Day. Do you remember that day when the war ended? <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 I sure do. That's on my birthday. Was there a big celebration in Hooker? No, uh, not too big, was there, Ari? Went to Liberal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Liberal. You went to Liberal. No, liberal. Was there a big celebration up there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Do you remember the celebration in Liberal? I, I don't believe so. Mm -hmm. I, I just don't remember if it did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you married Mr. Noel in 1920. Mm -hmm. Were there many boys in this area who went to the war? Well, there's quite a few. Yeah, I wouldn't have no idea how many, would you? But the flu epidemic. Hitler's in 
then to in a nineteen eighteen one day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Quite a few people oh. come down with the flu here. Oh yes, a lot of people. How many died? Oh, I don't have no idea. What's the mm -hmm. Quite a few people. Do you remember any medicines or remedies you used to <laughs> doctor the people? <laughs> Well, I know we said the doctor, and I don't know what it was. <laughs> Castor oil and camel. <laughs> Sir? Yeah. Castor oil and camel. Uh -huh. Quinine. Yeah. Quinine, yeah. yeah. Well, the, Castor oil and quinine. Well, the doctor lived across the street from me then, so he just... Were there many young girls in Hooker that were considered flappers in the 1920s? <laughs> I don't think so, do you? <laughs> How bad was the depression in Hooker in the 20s? I'm sorry, in the 30s. <clears throat> How did that affect you and your family, the depression? <laughs> well, it just... just Well, it was just my daughter and me until 20, until 20, and then of course. What do you think about the Depression? How bad was it here? Very bad. Mm -hmm. I went through it. <laughs> Many people lose their farm? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Homes, farm, mm -hmm. everything that they had. Well, I guess it's Quite a few couldn't pay the taxes on them. But you all came to it pretty good. Yeah. We got no beans, cornbread. Can you give me a good description of the dust storm? Oh, if I yes. see a picture I've got up at the house, you can see it. <laughs> if you can believe that you can sit in your car and not see your steering wheel. Why you couldn't see your hand before your face? It's just that bad. And you couldn't see a light bulb in the house of Bernard Harper. No. Well, that one Sunday. And you, that's the truth. I that that one I Sunday, you certain. couldn't see nothing. Nope. Lights or no lights. You try to keep it out of your house? The dust? <laughs> yeah, we hang up wet sheets on the one across the windows. Things like that, try to keep it out, but it didn't do too much good. <laughs> was it hard breathing? Those dust masks? Yeah. They made dust masks for us to wear outside. <laughs> what, was, what was the dust mask? What yeah. was it made of? Made of cheese cloth, <laughs> tape on it, put it across your mouth. I sent my kids to school that way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've heard of dust pneumonia. Yeah, yeah, that's called it. That's the reason they made us dust masks, you know. Yeah, I know it, yeah. 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 yeah, I know it did. <clears throat> that's the way we protected our children. What caused those dust storms? What was the reason? <laughs> Dry weather. <laughs> Dry weather and high wind. Oh, yeah, that is the main thing that caused them. When how long would a dust storm last? Well, several hours and days, wouldn't it? <laughs> Sometimes it went into days and nights, but most of the time it was over in about four hours. Yeah, the worst of it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then you cleaned up for the rest of the time. Yeah, yeah. And wait for the next one. Yeah. <clears throat> Turn your plates upside down <laughs> when you got ready to eat so that the dirt wouldn't be in it. Yeah. <laughs> And how far could you see the dust storm coming on the horizon? Well, you could see quite a ways it was coming. About as far as you could see, you could see. Yeah. How high was the dust? How, what did it look like when it was approaching? It just looked like a fire. Well, it looked like a smoke from a fire. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's your full name? Mine.
Just go. Irene Bowling. <coughs> Hij speelt de les dan. P-O-L-L-A-N-C-E-R. When did the dust storms finally break? <laughs> About 35 or 6, wasn't it? Yeah. They broke away. Yeah. <laughs> they broke back down. Mm -hmm. What kind of crops did your husband raise? Oh, corn and, and wheat when we first came down here. Now they're going to maize and <laughs> well, a lot of them is corn, but corn. Didn't you have broom corn too? Huh? Didn't you have no, we never corn? raised no broom corn. How long did you live in the farm? Oh, I li moved to town when my husband went away. He was out there. Well, he passed away. In. February the 4th, 1916, we come down there and... and that was Mr. Moore? Yeah, fall of, of, of 14. Well, I want to ask you a question. You mentioned about hanging the Kaiser in Liberal. That was... Was that an armistice day? <laughs> Can you tell me what the celebration was like up in Liberal? <laughs> Everybody was everywhere in this. They had fixed, I don't know how they'd done it. Yeah. Uh, but they had fixed mm -hmm. bomb things that they made. I guess they was uh, firecrackers, I reckon. Yeah. Bomb firecrackers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, they Oh, they had. Yeah. I don't know whether you might find a picture of that in Liberal sometimes. Hmm. Was Liberal the closest town, large town around here? Yeah. Well, I had quite a celebration. What was that in eighty? Back in eighty. I, they had a uh, banquet or dinner for the veterans of foreign wars, and my husband went down there. So Larry Trine, do you know him? He's a lawyer in Guyma. Mm -hmm. And anyway, he come to me before the program started and, and asked me if I'd be all right for him to call me Alice. And I said, why, yes. And so they had quite a pr program this some people come from Goodwill and put on the program, and they had some singing. And after a while, he said, uh, it's, this is Alice's birthday. You better all stand up and sing happy birthday. And there's about six or 700 there. <laughs> so that was your birthday party. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a good birthday party. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you say Mr. Noble was in the First World War? Yeah. Did he ever talk about that? Huh? Did he ever talk about the war? Oh, not too much. He went, he was in Winter Cross and wasn't gone too many months. Mm -hmm. But we had two sons that, the name was Noah, and they both went across. I'm not, not went across, but they both entered, volunteered when they got out of high school. After World War II, though. Mm -hmm. Second World War. The old one stayed in four years, and the other one stayed in about two years. Mm -hmm. What was your first reaction when you heard the Japanese had bombed Pearl Harbor? <laughs> that didn't sound good, I tell you. <laughs> no. mm -hmm. What was your first reaction? <laughs> yeah, I thought about my children. <laughs> And you had two sons that went to the army? Yeah. The Second World War? And all of my family's gone except me. 
after husband and her. Two sons and a daughter. And my two husbands. Here I am, Reverend the 95. Have any grandkids? <laughs> yeah, you got some grandkids. <laughs> huh? Yeah, you got grandkids. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got two granddaughters, so. Yeah, one great. Well, that'd be great, great. That's what I say, one great, great. Yeah. So you have two grand grandchildren, three. Yeah. Two, three. two granddaughters, and then three. How y'all do it? Three great grandsons and one great great grandson. Was there much work for the war effort during World War II land here? I mean, were there like bond drives? Um, oh. Mating classes? Yeah. yeah. Of course, I guess everything was rationed, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, some ration books, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Was there, a, excuse me, was there a big celebration when World War II ended in Hilker? Well, not too much, I don't think. I know we said everyone was happy about it, though. How many boys in the Hilker area went? Oh, I don't know an awful lot. I have no idea. Here on the stone of the schoolhouse, it's got all the names on it. Mm -hmm. I don't remember any. Did anybody come back? Well, got several come back. With their names, if you want to know how many of their names are. Did you see that big stone up there? No, not yet. I'll go up and take a look at it. It's got the three Noahs on there. And I don't. I don't know whether all their names are on there or not. Some of them, they had to pay to put their names on there. And some, I don't know whether paid or not. Yeah. But yeah. most of them did. Yeah. Yeah. But probably some didn't, you know. How big was your farm in Tennessee? <laughs> I don't know. They didn't count 10 acres. They didn't know. They had a lot of woodland. <laughs> Oh, well, my dad wasn't no big farmer, but he had nine children, so I guess he had a pretty good sized crop. <laughs> Did you want to leave Tennessee and come to Kansas? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I told so I'd come. I mean, I had, you know, that, my dad wrote and wanted us to come. Hi. Hi. What's going on? Can you tell me what Hooker looked like when you first came here in 1914? Well, there wasn't very many buildings. Was there streets paved? Oh, no. <laughs> no, they wasn't. No sidewalks or anything. Who were some of the prominent people in Hooker? Well, yeah. I mean, who were they? <laughs> Was the Wilsons here then? Was the Wilsons here then? I just don't remember. Who had your store? Maybe you can tell that. Who had the store here then? A.B. Waller had a grocery store. I you had a dry goods store too, didn't you? Huh? You had a dry goods store. Who owned yeah, it? who had that? Oh, I think Davis has had that, maybe. Pearl Davis, I don't know what her husband's name was. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
wasn't the Burgess here, wasn't the hardware here? I, I don't know. <laughs> Who was a mayor of Hooker? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know that. You have a mayor? <laughs> or not. <laughs> do you? I don't think so. I don't think they did. <laughs> what do you remember about Hooker? <laughs> Me? Yeah. I just come here in 37. You came here in 37. Mm -hmm. I lived in Liberal. Liberal. Mm -hmm. Too much here. Mm -hmm. Were the streets paved in when you came down? When did they pave the streets? Now, wait a minute. Maybe the main street might have been blacktop. Yeah. No, it hasn't been too many years since they paved up there where I live. Yeah. Living. The main street here must probably was paved mm -hmm. in 37. <laughs> Well, I think we have a good little view. Can you tell me, was your father or grandfather in the Civil War? No, I, I don't think so. I think he was called, but I don't think grandfather, but I don't think he ever went. Remember any stories your father told you about his childhood? <laughs> no, I, no I, not in particular, I don't think. Yeah. What's your favorite childhood memory? <laughs> I, I, I think the first doll I got. <laughs> what kind of doll was it? <laughs> well, it's a little Bolton doll. <laughs> Head. No, it didn't have nothing like that. Wax. <laughs> Wax. What kind of games do you play as a child? Oh, we played outside most of the time and, and throw the ball over the house or play. We played baseball and when we went to school. <laughs> okay. That's a good interview. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Can't you tell him about unpacking your quilts? So that should be kind of fun in here. Tell him about unpacking your quilts. <laughs> She couldn't decide whether she wanted to come west with her parents or uh, whether she wanted to get married. <laughs> well, no, we had been going together too long. I knew him a long time, though. But so, uh, my dad, when they left back there, they well, he'd come out and he saw the chairs that they didn't like, you know, bought in chairs. So he had those split bottom chairs made and he had some made and, and chipped them and then they you want to eat with us? Are you about through? Yes ma'am. They shipped everything in the way of bedding, just had boxes over oh, big as this and, and high. So when my dad started to nail it up, I said, um, them's my quilts. But he went ahead though and nailed it up, it up. <laughs> and he said, well, after that, he said, well, she, Alice told me them was her quills, but so uh, they had to uh, take it open and, and get them out. And then, of course, on Monday, while we taking the folks to the depot and uh, and there we were. My grandmother said we could live in her house. She, said her daughter used to live there, so we moved in there, and we had to go to the store and get everything from everything you'd need for to start housekeeping with. 
didn't even have a fork or a spoon or nothing. Had some bedding and some clothes, and that was it. <laughs> What'd you have to buy? <laughs> oh, we just bought everything <laughs> that you could buy at a, at, a, at a store. We went to Baxter Tennessee, and of course we bought bedsteads and dresses, and, and he had to buy a stove and coal oil and coffee grinders and lamps, and I still got a lamp. And How much did your stove cost? <laughs> I don't, it didn't cost too much. <laughs> But we was all fixed up. Just got a little bit of everything. I don't have no worry we done it. <laughs> well, I think lunch is about ready. <laughs> well, thank you. Okay. Yeah. I better get... Let me get you unpinned. <laughs> there is a 